All right, so hopefully the box model now makes sense. Uh, we're going to update our page a little bit, give it some padding, some margins, some borders, and um, make it a little bit nicer. All right, so here we go. This is the page that we have at the moment. The first thing that I'm gonna change because it's what bothers me the most about this page right now is the padding around our sections, which there is none of right now. So I'm just gonna click here, go to our section and add a padding of 10 pixels. That's the first thing I'm gonna do. Actually, I'm gonna make it 20 pixels, okay? There we go. So it's still really, really ugly but at least the text is not touching the edges of its container. Next thing I'm gonna do is, actually let's take a look at some of these, um, uh, some of these elements and how they are sitting. You can see if you inspect the H1, uh, it has a, bunch of, has a bunch of margin around it. So if we go down here, you see content padding border margin, right? So there's some default margin here that's coming from uh, default um, browser styles. So if I go up, that's uh, you know some of the, some of these guys. Um, you can overwrite them. Obviously, you can say <clears throat> H1 margin nothing, and that will get rid of the margin. And then you can create your own margin if you wanted to. But going back to our sections, it would be really nice if the sections weren't touching each other uh edge to edge you see these two so since we have a padding around it and you can see it by by um looking at the green box around it that makes it a little difficult because our, our main background is green too but um you can see that where the section this section ends this one starts right away right right after it so i'm gonna give all of our sections a margin bottom of another 20 pixels Okay, a little bit nicer. See, they're actually, they look like sections now. The reason why um, you can see a little bit of space between the box itself, the section itself, and the edge of the page is because, look at this. I go up here to the body. The body itself has a default margin of, of eight. Uh, let's take a look at the let's see yeah there we go that's also coming from um actually am i doing that no i guess that's a default uh, uh style so we can get rid of that or we can overwrite it i'm gonna say margin uh 10 pixels so that actually gives us margin let's make it 20 gives us margins around the uh, the body tag itself in every direction top right bottom left um let's see what else can we do to make this page look a little bit nicer why don't i give our sections some borders and border five pixels solid red to start with but then i'm gonna click on this guy and then make it a little bit darker so the darker version of what the background of the section is right so Again, this isn't, still, this isn't very nice, but it's starting to look not as terrible. <laughs> Hashtag goals. Um, we can do the same thing for our header and footer. We can give them uh, a border of five pixels solid red, and then I'm gonna click on the red. I can choose whatever color I want. I'm gonna choose the same background that the header footer has and then make it a little darker. That's not so bad. I'm gonna bring back the uh, margin, the default margin that the H1 has. Uh, and our image tag, it's still 400 pixels. I really don't know what to do with this uh, uh, without getting way ahead of ourselves and getting into you know super complicated image handling situations where we really haven't covered the theory. So I don't want to get in, get in that just yet. But if you take a look, this is actually readable. This is, this page is, uh, I think the content is consumable at this point. 
um, even though the colors are terrible, but the sizing and the negative space that we created using padding and margin, um, it's okay, right? I hope that you guys are actually coding as, as I'm going through these things. I want you to uh, play around with different colors and, and hopefully uh, you are about to achieve what I've achieved over here. But if we make a couple of uh, changes to the colors, the page might not look so terrible after all. So another thing I want you to uh, pay attention to is just click around the page, right? So when you click on this little selector thing, uh, you can hover over these uh, elements. I've been doing that this entire time. Hover over it, click on one element, any element, and scroll down and check out the box model specifications and see how these things are sitting. You can play around with them and it's probably a really good idea for you to experiment and see how things sit uh, when you change any of these four, um, four properties, right? So. With that said, I'm actually going to wrap up box model. Uh, I think uh, we've covered enough of it to give you an idea as to what it is. So the last piece of the puzzle, the last thing I think we need to pay attention to in order to make our profile page look good is the font itself. That's still pretty ugly, right? Not the font size, but uh, you know, we already did that, but the, but the font face, which is you know, what font are we actually using? Right now, we haven't specified anything. We're actually using the default font, um, so that will be next. <laughs>